innovation is about improving the welfare and well-being of humankind. Innovation is the lifeblood of changing with the world around you. If you don't innovate, you die. Technology has great power to realize a more progressive, brighter future for humankind. By focusing on innovation and technology and R&D, we have the power to solve any problem we want to solve. It's hard for us to imagine humanity without technology. Frankly, as an extension of our senses. Without connectivity, I won't be able to achieve my dream of becoming a computer engineer. It would be a dream for us to make an impact in people's lives. Innovation means we can be part of the world. It's a bridge to a brighter future. I am definitely an optimist when it comes to the ability of innovation to move societies forward and make them better. True innovation harnesses the power of technology to improve lives across the world. Here, a project known as Rural Star has connected this rural corner of Africa to the World Wide Web. For local teachers like Ben, this simple innovation has been a game changer. And as you can see, the system is being managed by the Ministry of Education in partnership with the Ghana Education Service. With the installation of the Rural Star, it has enabled the students in this rural area to also reach their potential in terms of one, uh, their education. The school has been able to introduce computers in the teaching and learning process. We are having about 30 computers. For our students, innovation is a bridge to a brighter future. I'm learning more from the internet because it helps me in building my knowledge retention and also it helped me in acquiring some useful skills with technology. Without connectivity, I won't be able to achieve my dream of becoming a computer engineer. Life at Banka before connectivity was a little hectic for us. This innovation means we can be part of the world. The key to progress here is this, a light compact base station, which provides voice and mobile broadband services. In remote areas like Banka, this technology can be the difference between life and death. It enables local nurses like Gloria to contact larger hospitals many miles away so they can provide for mothers whose lives are threatened by blood loss during childbirth. The risk in maternal mortality has to do with bleeding after birth. You can lose the mother. We had a case in this facility like that. Because here is a health center, we do not give blood. So we have to call the district hospital to make an arrangement for the woman. Because we had informed them they were prepared and she was saved. Rural Star Technology is also helping to reduce infant mortality, a huge problem in the developing world. The ability to communicate with a local midwife improves the chances of survival and a healthy birth. Hi, Jane. Connectivity have helped me to save a lot of mothers and their babies. As a midwife, it has helped me a lot. The distance from here to some of the uh, villages is very far. Connectivity has really helped us. It has increased uh, the number of pregnant women who comes to me, and the relationship between us also has really improved. I'm calling from Banka Health Center. Innovative technology has helped to improve healthcare in general across this community. Connectivity is making a great impact in, in our services here in Banka. Now my patients are able to book an appointment with me, especially with my family planning services. 
Their network has helped improve their health system and that saves lives. From saving lives to creating new opportunities, innovation has transformed communities like this across the world. In Ghana alone, over 400 cell sites have been deployed since 2017, reaching over 3.4 million people and increasing the national coverage rate from 83% to 95%. Rasta is an innovative technology which has really provided tremendous benefits economically, health-wise, education and even security. This country is blessed because of this technology. If technological progress is the hallmark of innovation, innovation itself is rarely a simple process. It requires a blend of different ingredients. With innovation so often providing solutions to global human challenges, the first step involves identifying a problem that needs solving. Pasaba mal. Si sí, cuando estudiaba me, me cerquea las letras y, y, y dibujar y ver las letras. Five year old Gael owes his sight to an innovation which offers a solution to the common eyesight problems suffered by millions of children across the world. Like many young children, Gael's condition could have gone undetected in the hands of traditional ophthalmology techniques, which have remained unchanged for decades. Pensamos que era algo sencillamente problema de actitud de él, no? Alguna alguna parte de la energía de él, y nunca pensamos que era algún problema de la vista. Gael has been treated by a breakthrough technology used to identify eye problems in young people and pioneered by eye specialist Dr. Victoria Pueo. Hola, ¿qué tal? ¿Qué tal, Gael? ¿Cómo estás? ¿Todo bien? Bien. Venga, mirando lo que sale aquí. De acuerdo. Y agradezco todo el trabajo del grupo, el de trabajo de ella. Eh, muy oportuno es la palabra, ¿no? Que para identificar el problema del niño, ¿no? Porque a la mayoría de edad el niño supone mucho más problema. Veo todo mejor. Veo todo más mejor. Dr. Pueyo's innovative solution has been developed by her Spanish startup, Dive Medical. Hola, Oli. ¿Qué te pasa? No te enfades. No. Venga, vamos por aquí. Pasad por aquí. This has overcome a long-standing problem in ophthalmology, getting young children to hold their gaze long enough to carry out effective diagnoses. This is Dive device, which is the baby in front of the device, and we present different visual stimuli. It uses eye tracking technology, so we are able to assess the exact point on the screen he is fixating at. Because the images that appear on the screen are animated and has funny noises, they engage the child a lot. They cooperate much better than they do when we are trying to assess their visual function with traditional exams. <gasps> It works very well, even with very young children. At an imaging lab, Dr. Marta Ortin then uses artificial intelligence to detect patterns in the large amounts of data collected by the dive device. Here we can see one of our tests and the red dots that we are displaying on top of the stimulus correspond to the gaze of the patient. Gael's gaze much likely looks something like this. The AI produces accurate and reliable assessments. This level of clarity has long eluded doctors. We are able to present the results in a very clear and understandable way, with the probability for the patient to have normal or abnormal visual development. Failure to diagnose eye problems can stunt the development of children and can lead to blindness in the worst cases. It would be amazing to see children in countries where they would have never been detected with problems to be easily detected and referred to a place where it can be properly treated. This technology is a prime example of how innovations which advance human progress 
are so often inspired by the necessity to tackle global challenges. AI can play a really important role in making diagnostics smarter, better, faster, and more widespread and more sustainable for the global community. AI has the power to become a really integral part to healthcare in general in the future. Problems provide the environment where innovation excels. Crises definitely force innovation and change through necessity, and that is why during and after crises, innovation moves forward in uneven ways. So we are in innovation, actually, some people need to solve problems. Ah, these problems are probably developmental problems, or people needing to solve life problems. Innovation is to solve human development problems, and the key to human development. Innovations which change and improve lives across the globe all depend on ideas. Ideas are the lifeblood of innovation, and ideas depend on an ability to think creatively. Technologists are thinking creatively about how to bring the modern digital revolution. To one of humankind's oldest endeavors, agriculture. Powered by technologies like 5G, innovative ideas from drones to intelligent robots are making farming more efficient and productive. We say, "Phones have become a new tool, and the radio has become a new life." They have developed numerous tools and technologies, and have brought a lot of changes to the economy. They have also made a lot of profits. Guys, see you later. Enjoy your day at school. <laughs> This man is helping to make agriculture a harvesting ground for the boldest kind of innovation: disruptive thinking, which completely reimagines ways of doing things. Doug Elder is dreaming up a whole new approach to food production. So I was a geologist for seven years, working on onshore drilling rigs in unconventional oil and gas.、Um, but then a very unusual opportunity came along in vertical farming,、um, and that really led on to, to where I am today. Morning, Shaba. How are we doing? Doug works at Intelligent Growth Solutions. An agritech business that develops hardware and software platforms for the indoor farming industry. Andy, how we doing? I had a haircut, I see. And their R and D facility at the James Hutton Institute has been called the most technologically advanced indoor farm in the world. So we're just heading into the airlock now, which is obviously our first line of defence against pests and disease. This fusion between science and agriculture is the perfect recipe for disruptive innovation. These different blocks are telling us everything from the state of the nutrient solution right through to the HVAC system and the motors and all the pumps, so that we can make continuous improvements to their performance. So as we head into the towers, total controlled environment agriculture is really what we're trying to achieve with this system. We have the light, the wind, the rain; those elements that you would normally get externally. Here, we take all those external influences away, but we become the provider of those. And by doing so, we can create that precision agriculture environment in here, which allows us to create the perfect environment for every crop that we interact with in this space. So this is our onboard robot system. The idea of this robot is to communicate between outside and inside, and that helps us limit those human interactions. This robot will drive into the towers, pick up the trays from the tower, take them out to the service area. We are seeing some really interesting interactions. Farming in a lab like this brings a disruptive new approach to agriculture, and creates a whole new vision, a signature of innovation. So it's important to have a pioneering spirit, to to be bold and to think outside the box, to try something that seems impossible. In order to have that dramatic, what we call destructive change, that really affects society. While automated technologies like this are controversial to some, they could be vital for saving the planet from environmental catastrophe. 
agriculture is now the most polluting industry in the world. We are impacting the climate in such a negative way. Flooding events, extreme dryness, extreme heat, the acidification of the oceans, herbicides, biocides, pesticides, the way we've mistreated the soil. There's a series of things that's making it harder and harder for us to grow high quality, nutritious and safe food. These disruptive ideas are an example of necessary radical innovations, which will creatively destroy old ways of doing things to meet the challenges facing humankind. No one agri-tech is going to have all the answer. We're enabling new business models in agriculture, new paradigms. We kind of call it agriculture 4.0. We've got to grow more food. We've got to do it sustainably. If we don't, we will destroy the planet that we value so much. The technology is here now. It works now. There is no excuse for governments around the world not to be adopting these sorts of technologies. Developing world-changing technologies involves much more than just a eureka moment of inspiration. Innovation isn't just about ideas. Ideas are just the start and they're cheap. Innovation is created by the investment in the journey. Successful innovations involve persisting through a challenging series of ups and downs. This means one of the key ingredients is a surprising one. Failure. Innovation is about exploration and experimentation, and those processes are prone to failure. Dr. Samuel West is a psychologist who preaches the virtues of failure. Failure that's done in the name of progress, where you explore new, new avenues or you, you, you do bold experiments. That's the failure we need to accept. He has even founded his own traveling museum dedicated to failed businesses and products. Oh, thanks a lot. The Museum of Failure is a collection of failed innovations from around the world. And instead of Taking these failures and sweeping them under the carpet, we shine a spotlight on them. This is the Polaroid film camera. So much fun to unbox it. It's an amazing piece of technology, three decades too late. And in fact, the founder of Polaroid, I think his name was Edward Land, he uh, got fired from his own company because he insisted on spending money on this thing. Samuel believes true innovators must all willingly and actively embrace failure. But failure is something we've been programmed to reject. Society glorifies success and at the same time sort of punishes and criticizes, embarrasses people who, who fail. It's a paradox. Those environments that are accepting and somewhat embrace failure, they are much more innovative than where failure is punished or penalized. Embracing failure means you have to be committed to the long journey of innovation and the process of research and development. A lot of R&D is going to be uh, leading to nothing, but some of it, especially when you're thinking about exploratory innovation, is going to be groundbreaking. So you need to commit to R&D just as a principle. There are few companies in the world which place a higher premium on R&D than Huawei. Innovation is a marathon, not a sprint. For Huawei, it's in our DNA to be focusing on R&D. It's the foundation of our competitive capability. A commitment to R&D requires a serious investment in resources. And the company has 700 mathematicians, 800 physicists, 6,000 research experts, 60,000 engineers, 
and has spent over 112 billion US dollars on R&D over the last decade. 我认为才能够把创新、创新所需要的这些想法变为现实、产生成果，让这种人类社会来享受这种收益。the long journey to develop 5G technology embodies the company's commitment to R&D and demonstrates the kind of conviction required for true innovation. In spending a whole decade developing 5G, Huawei took a big risk. But with the company now the world leader in 5G, that risk and investment has paid off. We Investing in R&D has proven to be a savvy business strategy, but the results have also delivered something much more powerful. From the journey of R&D to the bold thinking required to address global challenges, the story of 5G mixes the key ingredients needed to create innovation. And it's a reminder of its true nature and purpose. We're living in a time of unprecedented challenges, but we're also living at a time of unprecedented technological opportunities Innovation clearly has a tremendous positive potential for any society. Societies that are successful are societies that are capable of innovating. Ah, 带来这样的一些福祉。